everyone happy sunday um i'm gonna kind of go over three things it's gonna be a quick video um three tokens i'm currently looking at um that i think um you should also take a look at i'm not giving anybody any financial advice um this is just based on my research and things that i look for um you know the top tokens are always going to be the ones that you will definitely want to invest in um if we have a run like we did last time definitely put some money into ethereum classic um don't try to transfer ethereum classic because it could take days um for you to transfer say for you purchase um ethereum classic on coinbase and you try to send it over to qcoin it's going to take a couple of days so don't make that mistake a couple of years ago and maybe like five years ago i tried to do the same thing and i was pissed so it took a couple of days for it to actually hit my Qcoin account. Was it Qcoin? Maybe it was Gate.io, but whatever it was, it took a long time for it to travel. So um, just be careful with that one. But the price for this one was like $250 the last time we had a run. So um, try to get a little Ethereum Classic. Um, keep some XRP on reserve. I know that lawsuit sometime in Q1 of 2023, we should kind of get um, some understanding on what the outcome is going to be. Um, but yeah, let me show you the three coins that I'm actually looking at right now. I did post something about AGIX. AGIX used to be on the Cardano blockchain. Now it's, I think it's on the Ethereum blockchain. Um, I had predicted a couple days ago this was at 19 cents. Um, now it's at 43 cents. I think it's going to hit 50. I think it's going to top off at a dollar 25. Um, I think this is something to look at. Um, they're embedded with AI, um, and I do believe that this project. I think it's something that you should definitely invest in. But, you know, do your own research. Don't take my word for it. Um, but the market cap for this one should definitely be over a billion. No doubt about it. So, like I said, 43 cents. I think it's going to top up like 125. Um, that's going to be the max. The lowest point, believe it or not, it was at 4 cents. Um, it was actually as low as 3. Wow. Um, so, <laughs> those that were able to get it at 4 cents definitely made a couple hundred thousand dollars quick and that went from four cents to 46 really quickly so there's another token that i'm looking at it's called num um i'm going to show you that after right now it's currently four cents i do believe num also is going to have the ability to go up to 40 50 cents it might even go up to a dollar um so in this case here the market cap is 500 mil um total supply is 1 billion um just rounding um, so definitely take a look at this one the other one that my other baby right here is numb i'm not sure why this one is still 776 um ranking but i do believe that this has potential to go um really really high I think this tone was as high as like a dollar, two dollars before. Let's look at the one year high. Uh, it's not giving it to me. Um, if we go to historical data, um, let's go back. So like I do research on everything. I look at the historical data, the market cap, the price, New sentiment, like I use, I look at everything when I'm, you know, investing into a token. I look at the history, who created the token, their background. Got to watch out for scams. I'm not in the position of to lose any money here. All right, so this is where it was at 11 cents, it's 35 cents, 43 cents. 40 cents 50 cents I, I think this is going to go back up 93 cents this shit was a dollar look a dollar 28 um going back a dollar 52 63 254 so like when you look at a token that 
is at four cents now, and it was top at two fifty four. Gotta wonder why it tanked. Um, I did some research on the technology. I think it's pretty cool. It has something to do with NFTs and being able to track NFTs. Um, I and I think they're also building something on search and being able to also search on for NFTs, like creating like a Google database. Um, I still got to do some more research, but I like the fact that um, I think the supply is actually really, really low. Look at the Cirque supply. The Cirque supply is 264 million. Like, eh, that potential for it to even go to $5 is extremely high. I just need to understand why it tanked. So I'm still going to do some research about that. I should have, I should kind of have a better indication of what's happening. But given that, the market cap is still $10 million. Can it jump from 10 million to 50 million? Easy. Um, so I would like to see this price back at like 25 cents. Um, you know, that's at four cents rack up. I mean, if this is you do your own research, but you know, get a couple hundred thousand. Um, you know, have it sit there and just like just, just hold it. Uh, I'm a firm believer in holding the token and um, just watching it grow. Um, Think about the S curve. You know, it's gonna slowly, slowly um, grow, and then all of a sudden it goes out of control. Then it starts to taper down again. Um, so definitely look into this. Um, and then the other token um, that I'm really researching, but I don't know too much about, is Fetch.ai. Fetch.ai is already at 44 cents, <clears throat> so. I mean, there's only so much that you can purchase at 44 cents. If you're dropping like 5,000, um, you know, you're looking at maybe 2,500 tokens or a little bit more. Um, if the price goes to a dollar, it's, you know, you can double your money. Um, I don't know how high this token's going to go. Um, let's take a look here. This tokens available in Binance, Coinbase, Exchange, Kraken. So this is actually available in every single. Um, let's take a look at historical data. I love this. 44 cents. I'm telling you, when people, you get a coin that's like 4 cents and you hold it. When that coin goes to like 45 cents, 50 cents, yo, you can become a millionaire really, really quickly. Um, the people that had bags for three years that held it, I'm pretty sure there's people out there that have like hundreds and thousands, thousands of these. Um, and it's at 44 cents today, cash out. You know, um, if you had 500,000, which is probably investing, you know, 250,000, but just imagine you invested when it was four cents. So 500,000 would have probably been like $5,000. You could have gotten 500,000 tokens. It goes up to 44 cents. You're getting a little over $250,000. Like that money is so easy to get. It's just being able to hold. So a lot of people have problems where they can't hold because you probably got bills. You got kids. So sometimes you have tokens, but then you have a, something that you have to pay for. So what do you do? You sell it. Um, you can't hold it. Um, so it's never like, you know, what you invest is really like what. The reason why I say you only invest what you can afford to lose is because really you don't want to invest into something. Then knowing like, you know, a couple months later, you got to take it out. And then come to find out after you've taken it out two months later, that shit goes to all time highs. Now you're like sad because first you took it out <laughs> and then now. Everybody's eating and you're still starving. So, um, fetch that AI. Um, but I'm really, really. Then also get some Luna Classic tokens. Um, I think this is a great project. Um, this was the original Terra um, before the split. Um, that circulation supply jumped up to 6.9 trillion. So they're trying to bring it down. Um, right now, I think they're staking close to a billion tokens. Um, 
and the whole goal of this project also is to um, they have the IBC portals open but it's also to try to get that supply down like it's at 6.8 right now they, they want to get that down to at least like two or three trillion um, I don't know how they're gonna do it but I do believe they're gonna figure out a way to do it um, it, this is a token that it's number 51 it it hit the billion dollar market cap right now it's still at a billion dollar market cap um, I do believe like these are one of the these this token here is one that I would highly recommend you invest in um, don't throw all your money into it just take a look into this one um, I also like Luna um, Luna was like the cause on May 11th Luna crashed and it caused the crypto market to just took a hit. Um, right now, Luna's two dollars. But the thing is that Do Kwan, um made a mistake. I don't think it was intentional. Um, he's a very brilliant guy. I watched every single interview that he's had. Um, his story has always been the same. Um, his daughter, I think, is Luna or Terror. He named his daughter after his project. I don't think this was ever a scam. I think he just it just spun out of control and he just tried to fix it. And he couldn't. Um, and it, it was a crash. UST was a huge, it's not a stable coin, but I think it was like a 10 billion market cap. Um, UST right now, well, it's USTC because it's the classics, like three cents. They're trying to repeg this back to a dollar. So there was a proposal that came out a couple days ago. Um, they're going to try to figure out how to get this back to a dollar. I do believe they will get it back to a dollar. Um, I just don't know when, but I do believe some way, somehow they're going to figure it out. Um, so, you know, I'm letting them do the work. Um, I'm just watching the price racking up um, with hopes that it does happen. Um, but for now, I think, you know, you get free USTC when you stake Luna Classic. So stake Luna Classic, um, get some rewards, and then just hold, you know. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. Um, but, you know, those are the five tokens. I think I mentioned five. That I'm currently looking at. There's a lot more that I could talk about, but these are the five that I'm looking at right now. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, hit me. Um, like I said, I don't give financial advice. If I get somebody the wrong advice, the market is volatile. Like today could be high and tomorrow it's the lows. So you're not gonna sue me. Just I do my research. Um, I think I have a very very good like very good at predicting these things I, it's the research it's the way to have research for these tokens um you know uh, but it's all about being able to hold and looking for legitimate projects that serve a purpose um if the project doesn't serve a purpose nobody's going to invest in it so um just look at the people who are behind the project um and just a lot to look at 